that's exciting. That's how you learn, you know? So, you know, I was, we we're talking about it and I did a podcast which pissed off a lot of the, the crypto guys and said, you crypto guys are just peeing in the ocean. <laughs> when, when you look at the size of how big money is, it's like the ocean and your crypto guys are standing there peeing it. Now you're pissing everybody off, which is the thing. And crypto is the future. But in the meantime, you're just peeing in the ocean. <laughs> and the ocean of money is massive. Macro, macro, macro is huge. And it's as fake as they come. So the reason I support Bitcoin is because it's real. And the reason I don't like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and all that is it's fake. And the dollar is fake. But, you know, I heard that uh, what, the cryptos took a dive from 60,000 down to, no, I'll just say, I'm just waiting to get 27. And then I'm going to back up the truck again. And they go, and they don't know what to say. I said, well, why would you keep investing in it? I said, because you guys are the future. But in the meantime, you're just peeing in the ocean. I mean, that's what, 21 million Bitcoins? Yeah, it's impossible to count. Because what happened now, I'll give a quick history. This is the 50th anniversary of the fake dollar. So in 1971, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. And that's when I became a gold bug. I said, well, at least gold is more real than the dollar. The same as I was, I've been in silver since 64. So when I saw Bitcoin come along, I, I didn't understand it. You know, and, I, and by the time it hit 20,000, I was getting excited. And, but being an old guy, I always know it retraces. So I just waited for the to retrace and retrace to seven. I think I was go down to three or something. But you know, by the time I woke up again, I woke, you know, it was at seven. And then I said, hit nine. I said, I better back up the truck now. Because why would you chase something on the way up? You want you want it to come back, retrace, and then go back into it. But I want the reason I want to talk to you is because it's what's going on, your bigger picture. And I'm very, very bullish on Bitcoin, the whole crypto world. But in the meantime, the, the problem most people are going to get screwed, as you know, Anthony, all they want to do is get rich quick. Things go up and things come down. I mean, that's the market, bulls and bears, right? That's all it is. I want, I want everybody to listen to what Anthony is saying here, because this is a very big difference between the stock market, real estate market, and Bitcoin. Because when I was a kid, nobody was in the stock market. So between like 61 to 81, you know, the old guys like me and the, the baby boomers, they wouldn't go in the stock market because they're in the bond market. You know, the bonds were safer. So what they do, they just create this thing called a 401k and the IRA to kind of force the baby boomers into the stock market. And who controls the stock market? Well, the central banks, the treasury and Wall Street. And so all these baby boomers have been set up. I know that because that's what I study. So as you know, and I know, they're going to pull the rug out from under them. And that's going to be the biggest, you know, baby boomers have been the luckiest generation in history. I mean, they, they did jack and they got rich. They put money in the stock market, they got rich. Then what happened is 87, the stock market crashes. And what Anthony's talking about here is because Greenspan came in and says, we can't let the baby boomers get out because then we all get poor. So the idiot baby boomer stayed in and was called the Greenspan Port or the PPP, the Plunge Protection Team. What Anthony is saying there, they prop the stock market up to keep the baby boomers in. And that that's the difference between Bitcoin. There's nobody holding it up. Now that's good or bad, but to me it's good because you've got to be smarter. And all you losers out there who just want to get rich quick, you're going to get pounded. Stay in the stock market, stay with that 401k. And then you get pounded when it all comes down. <laughs> they can't stop it. Milo and hang on forever. He says, How, when do you sell? He never sells. I own Bitcoin. I'm never selling. I own real estate. I never sell. I own businesses. I never sell. Because if you sell, you have a tax consequence. That's macro, edu that's macro financial education. So, well, well, and so the people that got hammered are exactly as you said. They were the, the FOMO, fear of missing out. They jump in, thing goes up, and we get rich. Well, it's no difference like when I was living in Portland, the Arizona real estate market crashed. 
and people are moving out. They're like, I, I would never back, you know, I used to live in California, but the reason I never moved there is taxes, because they tax worldwide income. So I'd never moved to Arizona. You know, if you, if you are, let's say, a, a school teacher in California, it doesn't affect you. But if you are a global entrepreneur, California affects you. And that's why it's called macro financial education. And most guys are just peeing in the ocean, trying to figure out how they get rich quick. So yeah. I mean, I'm very, very optimistic about Bitcoin, you know, because of the blockchain technology, the lack of um, manipulation. But I think the most important is the same reason I own gold and silver. Can't mess with it. I don't own gold and silver ETFs. But I think the, the biggest thing that you say that I don't think goes right over the head of most people is, you know, I both served in the military. I went to military school. I studied Marx, Lenin, Stalin, and those guys. When you use the words decentralized, I get really happy because centralized means communist. And when you say centralized, the central banks, that's communism. And when Janet Yellen went from the central bank to the treasury, that was super communism because they now control the monetary system. And the reason you guys, I mean, you guys, all of us now who are into the crypto, we're peeing into the ocean that's controlled by a bunch of communists, Janet Yellen and this guy Powell and the, and the US and the, and the, and the uh, Wall Street. I said that I don't want to play their games. I mean, you can, you know, if I had bought Amazon, I'd be rich. I just don't want to play their game. Just like, you know, I don't, I don't buy uh, cigarette stocks because my father died of cancer, he smoked every day. You know, so just personally, somebody said, we want to buy some cigarette stocks. I said, no, I don't touch stocks anyway. I don't touch gold ETFs because they're fake. There's nothing there. There's no silver. There's no silver in the silver ETFs. There's going to be this crash so big in that market. And that's what the Reddit crowd proved when they tried to short squeeze, you know, GameStop and uh, silver. But the guys don't understand the game. And that's what you're explaining is when it's decentralized, you're peeing in the ocean controlled by the Fed. And that's why I pick on the baby boomers because they're, they're the, they, they were the luckiest. They were born at the right time, you know? And, but the trouble is they're not well educated. And the thing I like about the millennials is you guys are at least aware you're being screwed. But I want you guys to look at the macro, look at the macro. What are guys like Anthony and all the rest of the Bitcoiners doing? They're anti-communists, centralized. And if you're pro-communist, vote for Biden, Kamala, our future president, and Nancy Pelosi. They're communists. They want, they're totalitarians. They want to tell you what to eat, smoke, drink, and when to wear your mask. You know, they want to control everything about you. So that's why I love Bitcoin. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree. The only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free.